Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. I have had the amazing blessing of watching Erica become the woman she is today. I think that my dad, who went to be with the Lord um, in 2012, his number one thing he said to me when looking for a partner was, make sure you marry your best friend. And I think that she has done that. You, Bruce, have been prayed for for years. This day is ordained. You are her person, her lobster, if you're a friend's fan. Knowing Bruce and knowing how this relationship has developed, what I have seen from it is a consistent pursuit on Bruce's end. And this pursuit has been what Erica has been praying for in a husband for as long as I've known her. Erica, everything about you makes him a better man. Bruce never failed to not only tell Erica, but also show her how much you love her and how much you treasure her. Here's to many years of love and happiness and just enough trials to keep things interesting. May God bless you today and always. And may you forever feel his love in your hearts and your home and all of ours as well. that Erica and Bruce have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. Peace of the Lord be always with you. The traditional sign of peace is the kiss. every single person in this room, to every single person not in this room that couldn't be here, that we know have prayed for us and are here in spirit. This was a long time coming, but as I tell this guy all the time, I know that I would wait 40 years again if I knew that I got him at the end. <laughs> 